We actually arrived in early for a change, it's usually late, but uh, both travelled very well. He's lost about seven kilos, which he'll probably have put on by this afternoon. So, yeah, travelled really well. These horses fly all the time between Ireland, England, France, so it's, it's just second nature to them now. Basically this morning was just getting him used to the surroundings and know what he, where he is and what he's doing. So he'll do a little bit more tomorrow, but yeah, everything so far so good. He's actually a very placid horse until you encroach on his space, but it's in general easy to deal with. Hopefully, first of all, we don't get the rain. Because that would just be a disaster. Hopefully we have good quick ground. We think we have the right horse once the ground is right and we're looking forward to it. Sprinting is something you have to, they have to learn. You know, it's not something they just come naturally. They have to hit the gates quick, which he kind of missed the last day and he was on the back foot. But um, six is his ideal trip. So we're looking forward to the 19th. He's nearly there, not quite. We just have to add the finishing touches. But yeah, you know, one thing about Aiden, he likes to, when they leave, they're trained and we just finish him off here. But yeah, he's, he's ready to go. European sprinters are generally not as big as American and Australian sprinters anyway. Um, because a lot of sprinters just happen to end up being sprinters, whereas here they're bred and trained, and whereas we go out and look for milers more than sprinters, and if they don't stay, they go back, which has happened to him, and likes of Mozart and Stradivinsky, so looking forward to it. Anyway. But yeah, when, when a horse leaves to come over to race for $13 million, people know about it.